because I love my occupation. You know that one? I, I don't. <laughs> This, this is you're ready, man. This is something here today. I know. Well, it's you're bringing it because the rest of the table is a little sparse today. I, I can handle it. I know. You look good. Thanks. You're ready for the desert. That, or that's where we're headed? The dessert. I always get those mixed up. <laughs> oh, here comes Nick. <laughs> what? There's going to be a weird edit right in the middle. That's fine. I'm not singing again. Did, did you want me to leave your song in? <laughs> Maybe. I, I, I can do that. Um, so we're going to make camels. And this is, I love, I've been making camels for a long time because they're goofy and they're a fun one to make. But I didn't have it. I, I don't know why I didn't realize it until just this morning was. But I've made them in the past. I made um, like kind of like um, like blankets for them out of like a sweater and then you could you could embroider it you could beat it if you wanted it, if you were one of those fancy people that does things like that and you could make little tassels out of embroidery thread or yarn or locks and have little tassels on it you maybe know. before the pictures are fully done you'll make one that's a good idea and i'll have and some pictures see it. yeah so um we are calling this a it's kind of between a three and a four it doesn't have too many more techniques than things like the pony or the donkey, um, but it's big. So you definitely need to have some uh, several armature pieces under your belt um, before you try the camel. Because I'm going to jump right in, um, you know, with the armature and, um, and techniques that we've already explored in past tutorials. So if you're just getting started, try one of our beginner tutorials. This does have a supply pack. It's gigantic. Um, it just, it's a whole four ounce bundle of off-white core, um, off-white chunky core in here. Um, these weigh uh, about five and a half ounces. So there's a lot of goodies. It's a there. lot. Yeah. Yeah. And they have the Surrey and tons of color um, possibilities and combinations. The first one I made, I went lighter on the feet and legs. And then this one, I went darker. And then this pelt is pretty much all the tawny that was in the supply pack. And then this pelt has some more of the other colors mixed in. And we actually added even a few more colors. So they're all going to be camel or tan colored camels. Uh, white camels are fun to make, but I just couldn't keep making the supply pack so big that you could do one or the other. You definitely couldn't make it so that you could do two. So we had to choose, so we chose tan. Um, but it wouldn't be hard to modify. White camels are fun to make. Um, what else, Milo? Yeah, it's huge. Yeah. That's, it's, that's about all I know. I know. It's not even hump day yet. It's not. We'll be finished by hump day. Yeah. It's hump day here. That's for sure. All right. We should get started. Lots to do. Yeah. Okay. I am going to open the supply pack which isn't, um, doesn't have its fancy tag yet. It does it say just camel. It a camel tag. <laughs> we are going to make the fancy tag. I'm impressed we're even making a tutorial at this point, so. Because it's summertime. Well, it's been very hectic. Yeah, it's been very hectic with not being here. <laughs> <laughs> me, I'm talking about me, my No, life. no, I haven't <laughs> been here much either. So here's that four ounces of chunky core I was talking about. And then uh, we've got some tan core, which is going to be great for the face shapes um, once you start moving towards the toned, um, you know, darker tones for the face. This has a lot of color options. Some of this is core, some of this is top coat. So I really like this as a natural, um, a natural sheep. Um, color top coat and then we've got this beautiful new merino it's called oh, what was it I called? don't it even was, know it's no, weird it was, yeah it was actually a Marrakesh it's actually like yeah. a desert oh. Oh, okay. yeah and then um, some core wool colors in different shades and then uh, chestnut and um, autumn gold just to just give us a lot of options for, and then the, the main 
the main color is the tawny. So this is a house carded, this is a house carded pelt. You can't, there's not enough of this to do the entire camel in tawny with no color changes or other colors. Well, so, that's, that, that'd be boring anyway. Yeah, make use of all, that's what all of this is for. At both times I've made the camel, I had a little bit of this left over. I just know that it wouldn't be quite enough if that's all you used. Then we have, this is fun, we have a, um, a nine by nine inch piece of pre-felt and we're going to, it goes onto the camel and we cut, um, we cut a line <laughs> right here that actually like goes down over the hump. <laughs> and then we cut um, a dart out here because it has to go kind of their butt slopes down. Milo, your stomach is making a <laughs> lot of noise right in my ear. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and then this extra that we cut out makes the ears. So I'm very excited about that. I have um, four, I don't know how many, there's different wires here. These are for each leg and then a tail. And then we have Surrey, which does their little neck, um, their little neck poof and their little hump poof <laughs> just for and the tip of the fun. tail and the tip of the tail correct and your surrey might you might have a variety of surrey in yours it depends on what we can get um, but you'll have something between blonde and chestnut okay the in in surrey words it would be considered um, light to medium Fawn, I think is what they call it. And then your wires, it would be a good idea for me to get out my notes. Yes, a <laughs> lot of wires too. So that I know what I'm doing. I think they're over, I think they're um, oh. actually out, just not near me. Yes. Thank you. So you want to notes. locate your two long wires. We're going to start with the armature, as usual. Thank you. And, um... One's 40 and one's 44. So the 44 is actually the first one. So you take your longer one. One 44, very long. 14 gauge wire. And I cannot get all of this on film. I know, I'll, I'll, I'll narrow it down here. Find the center and twist nine inches. I'd like to do like half inch twists, not super tight. It's easier to twist from the wire end than it is to hold this and try to twist from the closed end. I probably should get a ruler. Two, four, six, eight. I'll grab it. Do you know where it is? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Every time I move, I think the camera shakes, so. I know, I'm sorry. Well. Sorry to the people in YouTube land. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see if I'm good here. Yeah. You are always right on. Well, I did have these. Yeah. The longer it is, the trickier it is. And then find the center of your second wire. Is it two 40 inch wires? One's 44, the first one was 44, and the second one is 40. And then actually, let's go ahead and give this a, a direction. So the head is going to be about two inches, two and a half inches, and the neck is the rest. So I can go ahead and give this a, I'm going to make that a little smaller because their lips stick off a lot. So that's good. Then their heads, the neck's about six and a half inches. So I usually put this wire on this way and like a superhero cape. like a superhero cape but this time I want the neck to be coming out of the the low side hmm. so I'm gonna put it on here 
like that. And I'm going to twist this. I think it ends up being like two and a half times. So that's one. I want the long wire to be facing back again. And that's two. So this is a little different for me. So the long wire is pointing back at you, the shorter wire is yeah. forward. And just be aware, be aware he, here that you're not making this a super hard, a super hard angle right here. Like you want this to kind of just flow off. That's why, this is why I don't usually, the pigs we did this too. Um, the reason that I usually put this wire on from here is because when you twist it this wire ends up coming down on this side and it just has a more natural flow from the twist but uh, I know it's, it's, it probably doesn't make any sense to anybody that excuse me it's all this sand <laughs> and then we're going to twist the um the back seven inches from the arm. So I'm sorry, I gotta like, don't poke I gotta, yourself I know, in the face. I gotta do some different things here so that I don't poke myself. This is 14 gauge wire, right? Correct. Because we're gonna double up on the legs, 12 ah. gauge sort of would have been overkill. Okay, now we have a 28 inch wire and a 24 inch wire. So the 28 inch wire we want to use on the front legs because we're going to make a, the front, the, <laughs> the, it's their withers or their shoulder blades really, but it kind of looks like a hump. Um, this, this bump right here. Find the center. Wish we could have some music on. That wouldn't be annoying, but I think it would. Yes. Um, <laughs> so far away. Um, and then, sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Twist. Okay, so you're gonna leave a pretty big hump, like a two inch hump. So I'm gonna have a little two inch peak here sticking up off the back of this. And then I want to twist the legs together eight inches. And I try to remember to twist the legs in the direction that I wrap, but it's a little awkward for some reason, so it always feels weird. I've gotten pretty ambidextrous at this twisting thing. Yes. It's weird, I twist with, I'm left handed, but I twist with my right hand. So this is bizarre right now. So I want a twist of eight inches. From, uh, from where the leg starts off the body. So just a couple more twists there. Okay, and then on this side, I'm gonna go. How high is that sticking up? About two inches. Okay. I did go get water. I was going to have a coughing fit in uh, everyone's ear. All right, so I'm twisting this together eight inches. Wow. What? <laughs> it's not small. It is not. It's huge. Okay. And then on the hind legs, I'm going to find the center of this. I set it right over the butt. And twist together eight and a half inches.
You see okay? Uh, yes. So that was the 24 inch wire. This was a... I think it's the wrong way for me. Oh, well, I'm doing it this way. I think it feels, it feels too good, so I know it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. They don't have super skinny legs, but it does help to follow the... Yeah, like on this one, when I wrap my 22 gauge wire, it's going to be going against the twist, mm. probably, because I just twisted the wrong way. Okay, so eight and a half. Eight and a half, good. Okay. Give that the final little tight down. Okay, you're going to leave. You're going to leave. You're going to cut about an inch and a quarter, um, and then, why is this wire so long? It's okay. <laughs> it's, it's all okay. Having more is better than having not <laughs> enough. I just don't remember having this much to cut off. Um, okay, so you want to leave about an inch and a quarter and fold the toes back to, um, about three quarters of an inch. So something like that. I probably cut these a little long, but you just don't want wire. You just don't want a bunch of wire coming back up to the ankle. Cut this so that it just folds over. The rest of you are probably getting out a ruler to make sure you cut in the right place. <laughs> I would suggest that. Oh, I cut these. I cut these a little long. These are more like an inch and yeah, inch and a half. You have a little bit of wiggle room too. Like this one's a little longer than this one. But the, when I put my 22 gauge wire, I can cheat this out just a little bit. And then the front legs, they come forward about an inch just to kind of accentuate that, um, the point of the shoulder. And then at about an inch and a half from that, they go backwards into an elbow. And then you should have about a five inch, um, yeah, five inches from the elbow to the pastern area. And then on the hind legs, we're gonna do the same thing with the feet. This one I cut shorter, so I'm gonna bend less back. Your goal is three quarter inch mm -hmm. toes. Mm -hmm. Have I mentioned on film yet that a lot of the camel jokes out there are um, naughty? <laughs> I think I said it before we started filming. Oh, yeah. Really? Yep. So the hind leg bends look like about a two and a half inch um, to their knee or their stifle, and then three inches to their hock, and then two and a half inches to the fetlock. Oh my god, I just made a, <laughs> it's made a weapon. Did you see that? <laughs> Lucky you didn't get yourself. I know. That's the thing with the camels. Like, we were working on the stags in Paducah last week and, and we kept, with their antlers and everything, we kept flinging needles <laughs> everywhere. All right, I have to stand him up, which I realize isn't the best position for you to see but normally I would check my armature more than I have been. So I want to make sure that I'm not, not too far off track here. Okay. Okay, we're ready for, you have four 
26 gauge wire here and one 22 gauge wire. So the easier thing to do is to find the thicker one. Thicker one. <laughs> You'll be able to feel it. And each 26 gauge, yeah, I just moved the stab it out of the way. I should have done that a long time ago. Um, but I was using it to make Probably measure, easier, yeah, it was probably easier to see. Yeah. Um, each 26 gauge is going to do a leg and toes. If you want to use swax, first of all, we didn't say this. It's always good to watch the tutorial through. I realize it's a lot of time, but um, having that visual and mental roadmap for the process before you do it um, is going to be really valuable. I used swax on this one, on the toes. Nope. Wait. I did. I thought I did. No, I didn't use swax on either one. You can. You don't have to. They have like, they do have toenails, um, but then th their toenails are actually, they don't stick out that much and then they have a lot of like weird foot material going on there. Okay. So I want to wrap, start at the top, just, um, I think you have enough to maybe have it going on this hump a little bit. So these are not tacky wrapped. They're not. If you have tacky wrap sticks and want to use them, that's awesome. We just couldn't, we put, couldn't put tacky wrap sticks into the kit um, without difficulty. Or you so, could tacky wrap I'm gonna your tacky regular wrap, wire. I'm going to tacky wrap everything oh, okay. after I get them on. That way you're not dealing with the stickiness yep. while you're wrapping. So you want to come down, find a toe, go out to the end of it, just fold it back. I usually leave a little eighth of an inch of, of the cloth covered wire because it helps make a pointier toe if that's sticking off and you can get some wool around it. And then this is a little awkward and it, it'll want to kind of bounce around and come off, but you go around the back of the foot and then come out and do this toe. And again, I give myself about an eighth of an inch. And then if you want to wrap the wire back up the leg, just make sure you're going the same direction so that it nestles into the twists that are already there instead of coming across it. I'm going to zoom in on the next one. Okay. So what I was saying when I was making my armature was paying attention to twist the wires together in a way that is natural for me to wrap this wire right into, right into those twists. So I come out a toe, this toe is a little long. And then I like to go around the back of the foot because it just seems to hold it on better. But don't do a lot of wrapping here. Just, just come out to the end and go back. Like I don't wrap all down this. It gets too bulky. Too much wire inside. And then bring this so that it goes back into here. When I do these back ones, you're going to see something really awkward because I wrapped it the wrong way. This one's probably okay. You're going to see me wrap with my right hand. It won't be awkward. You're going to make it happen. Let me see. You're very quiet today, my I am. I'm kind of asleep. <laughs> we were talking about me getting enough sleep, but you didn't get enough sleep. Yeah, it's cumulative. That's the worst kind. It's a good thing I even remembered the camel quarter. Camel quarter? Oh, <laughs> oh gosh, that's bad. Yeah.
<laughs> I mean, that was good. It was great. I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Get ready. Oh, so weird. This is the way the rest of the world is wrapping. Look, I can't even make it go in the right <laughs> places. My right hand is derpy. You're getting it, you're getting it done. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm doing something I never thought I'd do. I can't say what. Oh, because it's for the people. Mm. And the people can't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Milo's was like, mm, what are you up to? <laughs> nah, I, I got it. I was, I was focused on the fact that camel quarter is lame. Camel raw, a little better, though. Camel raw, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, no. Okay, Sarah. Yeah, this is how I wrap any time I try to make anything, <laughs> just so you know. This is what your brain is doing every time? Struggling, Woo! yes. Okay. That's enough of that. Okay, this last wire, this 22 gauge, makes, helps us make the hump. Put it a little farther forward than you think. I was centering it on the back, but then by the time all this gets built up, it looks a little too far back. So it's going to make the hump and the tail. So you just start it um, at the front of the torso. Get a few good wraps on there. And then, uh, I don't know, that's probably even enough. And then shoot it up a good two inches. And then return to the torso. sure this is really well anchored here and then this will be the tail and you want your tail to be um how long did I make the tail do, do, do. I don't write it down all right let's see you could kind of look at your other camera I could too. well you want this to be able to come back so oh. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, and then just leave that, um, just kind of leave it floating up here. Like sometimes I really anchor them down, but um, we got to put some surrey in here and then twist it up and tighten it up. So that's that. Now, I recommend tacky wrapping the whole thing with a tacky wrap sticky bun. Um, if you don't have that, uh, a pipe cleaner on the neck and head would be great, and you'll be be okay on the toes. It's just nice, um, nice if you have it. And I'll probably just do well. I'll do them all. First thing we're gonna do is wrap the toes. I'm just gonna do the toes and wrap the toes so that the whole thing isn't sticky while I'm trying to do it. So I'm just getting them pretty well coated. Oh my gosh, you're right. All the jokes and even like anything I want to say is nope, naughty. It, it's, it's not great. <laughs> A lot of camel it's, proverbs. We are not. Oh good, I love proverbs. I'm bad at them. You're good at them, but I love them anyway. We're not going to make it through the tutorial without saying something inappropriate. I'm pretty sure. I like to wrap the toes in the dark gray that's in the supply pack. So let's take off a about a little three or four inch piece and then you just want to split that down into thin strips. You're not going to get quite eight out of it but All right, this is going to take a minute, Milo, just wrapping these little toes. So let me do one, and then okay. while I do a couple more, you can tell me a proverb. So with a strip, 
You just, all you want to do is go out and back on each toe. And if you want to use some swax, you know, you would have that heat heating up, you would hit it with some swax, and it would make it a little bit more um, kind of fingernaily if, if it was, you know, shiny and smooth, so. But not much of the toe sticks out, so. Out and back is important because you're not really needling it very much, so the out and back is what holds, holds the fiber on. When you get to an end of a toe, it's all about the angle to make it stay on. I'm angling this way and then I turn around and I angle right back. If you linger around the end of the toe, that's when um, stuff wants to slip off. So this is where swax is great because it would actually, like I have a little white tip there, it would actually just totally get rid of that. All right, you want to hit us up with the proverb while I do a couple more? Oh, yeah. So, oh, there's a lot of good ones. Although out of the 90-some I have, I think like 30 of them are the same one, in a variation. <laughs> okay. You really have 90? Uh, there were 94. I, I just did some copying and pasting. Okay. Um, so this one in many forms that refers to both God and Allah is trust in God, but tie your camel tight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Trust in God, but you got to make your own decisions. You got to <laughs> you gotta tie up your camel. You can't just sit on your couch <laughs> and trust that God is going to bring you a turkey sandwich. Yes. You might have to make your own turkey sandwich. You might have to make your own turkey sandwich. Yes. You might have to go catch your camel if you don't tie it up. You're definitely going to have to catch a camel. Because if you your don't. camel has some ideas too. Yes. <laughs> your camel's proverb is trust your human, <laughs> but make if a he or she it. leaves you untied, <laughs> run. Don't go for an adventure. <laughs> I also like the one camel does not make fun of the other camel's hump. Okay. That, that's it? Yeah. That's the whole proverb? Yeah. Because they all have humps? Yeah, you don't bust on someone else's hump. You got your own hump. All right. All right. I can do the last four without everyone watching pretty sure. All right. Um, then you have to decide what color feet you want. Um, I think I used, I used off-white core no matter which way I was going to wrap the feet. It might be, if you are going to do dark bottom legs, like the tan core might be a little bit easier. Um, I'm going to do lighter bottom legs because that's just what I want. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to do... You want to pull in the two that you have just to show people kind of closer? Sure. Like I had to... Bl I blended this color using the dark gray, the, um, the cinnamon, and maybe that natural sheep color okay. I was talking about. And this is that... This is that natural sheep color. This one. This one. So that's one possibility. I think I'm going to do the lighter... This lighter natural sheep color on the legs and go more towards the yeah. oatmeal and the off white on the on the foot and let them have light legs. I did do a darker knee and hock on this one, but um, the options are fun. So many options. 